Okay, hi. Welcome to Virtual Library Madness, and today's project is ribbon weaving. So the first thing you'll want to do is take your piece of cardboard and your yarn out of your bag. Your yarn is uh, slip knotted together very loosely, so you're going to want to pull it apart like so and lay it out flat so it doesn't get knotted. And then what you're going to want to do is take one piece at a time and you're going to put it through the slits in your cardboard. You want there to be overlap on either end, so you kind of want to center it on the cardboard and go ahead and attach all five of those. I'm doing this rather quickly. You could just watch the whole thing if you want and then uh, go back and start the project. If you, or you can pause it if you want to work along with me. Okay, so then we have five pieces that's all attached. So now what we want to do is we're going to lay it so that this side is on our table and then you'll need your tape, which was on my list of things you need to get from home. Masking tape is going to be the best bet. If you don't have that, just try regular tape. I've already uh, cut off some pieces. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna tape this down and you want it to stay. So you can use a big piece, a couple pieces. We're just gonna tape it across the back like so, so that the yarn stays. Okay, so this is the back side, it doesn't matter. Um, and you're gonna do that with both ends because we want that yarn to stay in place. Okay, push it down really well, make sure it stays nicely. So now we've made our frame. So now we're ready to start weaving. The next thing you'll wanna get out of your bag is all of your ribbon. And then you might wanna just lay it out. I just have a few pieces here. You might wanna lay it out so you can see all your color choices and decide how you'd like to proceed. Um, you just pick one, whatever one you like first. And to weave, we're gonna go over, under, over, under, over, under. Uh, we're always starting under with our first. So you'll slide it under the first piece of yarn, go over, under, over, and under, okay? So I, I wove that one on. And then you can adjust it, put it where you would like it to be. And you can move this as you go along. So don't feel like you can't, because we're not gonna glue it down yet. So then go ahead and uh, do everything, weave all as much of the ribbon as you'd like. Uh, you might wanna, you can move it a little bit, carefully after you have it on there. Here's one that I've put a lot of ribbon on. And when you're finished, you can decide, like some people might like to see the cardboard showing um, and some people not. So you can push it to the middle, you can space it out however you like, but go ahead and you're going to weave all of that ribbon or all that you want on onto this. And then what you're going to do, so I'm gonna do one more piece so I can show you. I'm gonna go over, under, under, over, under, over. Okay, I've already sort of glued some of this. So then at the end, what you're gonna do, this is when you need your either school glue, craft glue, or you can use a hot glue gun. And you're going to take a little bit of that glue, I've already glued these other pieces, and you're gonna put a dab just under the outside. You don't have to glue the whole thing down, we're just gluing a little bit on each edge, okay? And we're just gonna wait a minute, I'm adjusting my camera, it keeps falling. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna glue all of that. And while you're waiting for it to dry, you can just set it aside while you're waiting for dry, and then you can uh, work with your hook. So I put a, you're hanging, you're, how you're gonna hang it. So I put a pipe cleaner in there and the pony beads. So go ahead and you can string those on. And I would suggest pushing the pony beads to the middle um, just to get them all on. So push them all to the middle, go ahead and put all those on. You can do that while you're waiting uh, for your ribbon to dry. Once your whip ribbon is dry, you might need a grown up to help you with this. You're gonna need some sharp scissors and you're gonna wanna run your scissors along the edge of this and we're gonna trim off. And you might have to do it more than once. Sometimes it's hard to get it exactly even, like I, here's one I missed. So just look and see. But we want it to be pretty much even with the side of our cardboard. So you're gonna trim each side, and like I said, you might have to do it more than once. If you missed a little bit, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be just however you like it. Okay, so we'll pretend that I've done that with both sides. There goes my camera again. 
And then what you're going to want to do is take your pipe cleaner and your, there's holes on the top, so you're going to put a little bit through each side, right? And then you're going to flip it up and you want enough so that you can twist it around on each side so that it holds. So you can decide how much that needs to be, but you're gonna wanna twist that pipe cleaner around a couple times at least. Make sure it's really nice and secure, okay? Then you can decide. Um, in my case, I think I kind of like how it looks. I'm gonna try to make it even. I kind of like the um, those on either side and then where it can hang in the middle. So you could hang it on a bulletin board from a nail anywhere that you'd like. And that's your ribbon weaving project. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.